Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Trinity and basically my channel is all about horses, my life, everything I do out in the barn with my horses, shows, rodeos, everything guys. So hit that like subscribe button for more videos. But anyways guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a tour of the animals. All of the animals on this property that are my families, that are mine, everybody. So yeah, we're gonna start with the horses because they're probably the biggest like animals here. And um, definitely, it's not like we have an elephant or something. So yeah, we're gonna start with her because she wants to say hi. Bella, this is Bella. This is my sweet horse, heart horse, definitely. She is a 14 three quarter horse mare, guys. Um, she's such a pretty horse. We jump together. We've done literally everything together, but our main thing we do together is jumping after doing barrel racing and a lot of other things. She really likes jumping, so that is what we stuck with, and she's doing amazing at it, guys. Um, so yeah, this is Bella. She's so sweet, I love her. She has a cute little white star, guys. I've had her for literally almost 10 years. Um, and yeah, she is, her birthday is May 10th and she's turning 11 soon, aren't you? You are, yeah. Um, so yeah, that is Bella. Now guys, this horse has literally done everything. Like she's so good with kids, kids poke her in the eyeball and like mess with her all the time because like I have a little sister and stuff and she's so calm so chill she does so many lessons she's so good good with little girls that are bo little boys everything guys she has ridden in western and in English shadows everything we have the best relationship together and she's my heart horse guys we do liberty work together I love her so much yes okay next horsey is Redeem hello yeah she has a cut right here I feel better. Why? What happened to you? What did you do? This is Redeem. So she is a 15 hand horse. Um, uh, bay. Uh, she's a quarter horse, bay roan. So yeah, you can see her. Right now she's really orange and gray. You in the summer and fall she's so much more darker, like so dark. She literally looks black. But yeah. So now she has a very. She has such a pretty coat, guys. Um, but yeah, so she is like half mine, half my mom's horse kind of thing. My mom bought her for her, but she hasn't, um, she also is a single mom, very busy and stuff. So to come out here and ride horses, ride her horse, do all that, that's hard. So I kind of took over. Anytime you have a new animal, especially a horse come over, you always want to hang out with it. So yeah, I was like, hey mom, so, um, is it okay if like Redeem starts to trust me? Cause I really want her to have a relationship with someone. And she's eating me. And um, and she's like, yeah, of course, yes. So now we, we have a good relationship. She's still, she's seven, guys. She's learning a lot. She does barrel racing. So at the end of the video, I'll put clips up of Bella's jumping and her barrel racing, guys. But yeah, I've done jump, hunter, hunter jumping with her. And that has, that was good. Girl. Girl. <laughs> um and uh that was good but it's just not for her so now we're doing barrel racing with her and she is kicking butt and doing amazing guys we have some fun events coming up don't we she's so sweet guys i'm really starting to get a really good trust relationship with her now she's eating my hair okay <laughs> um but other than that guys this is redeemed um she's amazing and i love her so much so that is redeemed okay guys next horse those two horses you will really see my videos i do mainly them sometimes you'll see pony but other than that i'm doing this whole tour of the animals so you guys can see all of the animals because i really haven't posted any of them in my videos guys um so yeah these are the horses those are the two main animals probably here next is pony guys her name is kashi she's a shetland pony okay so yeah we have been working on getting these spikes out yeah, they just, they, they literally find bushes of them and it gets all stuck. This is actually good compared to what it is. Hi. She's super sweet, guys. Um, but yeah, this is my sister's pony. We all ride them. All of them are like all of ours, our families. We all ride them. I'll take care of them. I'm the one who um, really like cleans the stalls, feeds them, stuff like that. 
but I love it and it's fine because I get more privileges of doing shows and stuff like that. But yeah, so this is Pony. She's super sweet, guys. She does literally everything. My sister mainly does trail riding with her and stuff like that. I've been We've been working on her and teaching her. She can get a little feisty sometimes like a pony, but that is normal for ponies because ponies, she is, she is a female. Um, And yeah, she does, she does jumping. She did barrel racing. She's done everything, guys. We have not brought her to a show yet, which we really want to do in this upcoming month, guys. So yeah, um, now, so that is it for the horses. Now we're gonna go on into what my brother, um, really, uh, he takes care of the pigs. So now we're gonna go to the pigs. Cutest pig ever. Oh my gosh, so this is the baby pig. Hi. She doesn't really have a name. We just kinda call her Princess Dig a Ditch. Yeah, so she digs a ditch. Yeah, like our other pig, which I'm about to show you, is named Lady Shovelhead. So that just makes more sense. Why are you trying to eat me? All the animals just want to eat me today. Um, yeah, she's really friendly. She's super fat, guys, but aren't they all? Um, she's so cute, guys. We got her when she was, like, so teeny, like, literally only a month old, and now she's grown. Yeah. So that is the pig. And then this is a pig. He, it's a funny backstory. He literally showed up in the middle, like, literally in the middle of the day. Like, he just showed up at our property, and we were literally, he, we tried to get him away, we kind of just left him, and like, he'll leave, and he didn't, he stayed. So, he really likes Lady Shovelhead. He's, like, half friendly, half not. Like, he's, wants to protect her a lot, and they're, like, buddies and stuff. Um, but, yeah, so, we don't really know what we're gonna do with him. He doesn't really have a name. He's only stayed here for about a week, a couple weeks or so, so. But, yeah, he's pretty friendly. We just, all the pigs are kind of unpredictable, so we don't really, like, hang out with them like we do with the horses. But they still, they're still, like, really fun creatures to come and see at a farm. So, Lady Shovelhead is sleeping over there. This is their house. That's Lady Shovelhead. She's a gray female pig. She's so sweet, guys. We've had her since she was a baby. Yeah, so, yeah, she's sleeping. Okay, guys, and then we have a bunch of chickens. We have, like, a bunch of chickens scattered everywhere. Property. Here's a couple. We have the hens, which they lay the eggs. This is another hen. And then we just have roosters everywhere. Rooster. There's a lot more. They come and go, and they go to the neighbor's property and stuff. A lot of them were from the neighbor's property, but a lot of them come over here. Um, the hens, the layers, we're really friends with. The other roosters, they don't really want to hang out. So, yeah. Okay, guys, that is it for the barn part. We have... We used to have sheep and stuff like that, but they kept um, eating, getting out and eating mom's plants. They were a lot. And then the dogs would chase them. So yeah, now we're gonna go to the dogs. Well, dog, sadly. Um, so Nala, you've probably seen her, me, not even. Okay guys, I'm talking really fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that is most of the animals on the barn. The chickens, bunnies, bees. yes. Okay, um, yeah, and never know. So we have, eight acres because um just thought i should mention that because a lot of um real equestrians like will say oh how many acres do you have per horse so three horses eight acres which usually one to two acres per horse so that's plenty for them guys <laughs> we're you yeah, actually have an extra stall too and we're maybe thinking about maybe so this is definitely and we don't know what we're doing but we might I can't believe this because I literally just did an April Fool's video about this. We might be selling Pony. I don't know, guys. I'll figure out more deep. No, if we were, that would be way in the future because as of now, Pony is a really hard horse and I have so much other time and stuff and energy going into the, both of the other horses. But I'm gonna try a new bit, new tack, guys. She doesn't really have like proper tacks. So we're gonna do all that. We're gonna try everything. And if other than that, if we did the best we could as our part as humans, then she might move along. Anyways, though, if we do sell her, we might get another horse, and we might train. I might. I'm gonna train it, make it better, and sell it for a little bit more money. Get more money, buy a better horse, maybe upgrade the barn, maybe get a trailer. So a lot of dreams go through my mind. Yeah. Um. But. Um. Anyways, guys. So yeah, let's go on and go to the dogs. So a little backstory about the dogs dog is we used to have dogs our dog that i'm about to show you is named nala um all the screaming and mowers and stuff in the background is kids we have family over and it gets kind of crazy <laughs> there's like seven kids so yeah <laughs> anyways she had six babies five of them went one of them stayed we we kept the girl 
doggy and um she grew she was crazy oh my gosh we have sent her to professional trainers we have tried different feet we have tried so many different things but, but she kept escaping like bad like we've even put up electric fence guys really bad escaping one point she got out and sadly got hit by a car this was probably a year ago guys um but yeah so that was really sad she was named honey bear she looked a lot she had she looked like a, I'm going to see if I have a video of a picture of her. I very well, I'll pin it right here. If I don't, you won't see anything. Um, but yeah, so that's Honey Bear. Now I'm going to go show you Nala. Okay, guys, so this is Nala. That's the mower running. We have some family here. <laughs> um, we don't turn it on or anything, guys. The blades, so don't worry about that at all. It's just a fun ride around thing. We used to have a four-wheeler, but it broke, so yeah. Okay, anyways, guys, this is Nala. This is a sweet girl. She is 10, 9, 9, yeah, 9, 9. Um, and most of our dogs, German Shepherd, died around like 13, 14, sometimes like 12. Yeah, so her hips, I don't even know. So it's not hip dysplasia, guys. It's like her spine doesn't connect to her like, hips anymore, but like she doesn't have any control in her legs. Like, so she's sliding around. The vet came, gave her some medicine, guys. She's feeling better. She's definitely wanting to be a more outside. She just can't walk. So, yeah, guys, her legs slide. It's really sad. Um, but this girl has been through so much, man. This We got her puppy at Christmas when I was just, I remember, I was so young. She has been through all of our siblings being born, been through. She's literally stays by my mom's side every single night when Hope Genesis was born. Everything. So, um, those are my little sister's names, by the way, but yeah, so this is the sweet girl, guys. It's really sad um, that if we don't get her really a chair, she might, we might have to put her down just because she can't walk. Um, but so far right now, she's doing really well for it. Um, yeah, um, so this is Nala. Her daughter is the one that got hit by the car, which is really sad, guys. Um, but yeah, this is our sweet Nala, long-haired German Shepherd. No, yeah. So yeah, so when she slides, she also hits the concrete. Sorry, I should have put warning of blood or something, but yeah. So it's really sad, guys. I'm gonna move her right now, but if she were to walk, follow me, I'll show you guys. Um, Yeah, so now the last animals are the cats, guys. We gotta find them. Okay, look, so you see, guys, how she can't really move? Um, but yeah. So yeah, guys, it's really sad, but that's actually not that bad, really. Um, and also guys, she has been doing really well where she can actually get like stableness on the grass and walk far. It's really good. Um, so yeah. Now we gotta find the cats. We have five cats. We used to have some, a lot of them even have babies and stuff. Those have moved on. Some got sick. We really never meant to have that, the cats breed or whatever, but it did. And we loved them. We would literally little kids chase kittens around. That was a while ago. But yeah, and that was really fun. So here's one cat. This is Manny. We call him Manny. He's a mangoon. So yeah, here he is. He's really friendly. He just doesn't know what's going on right now. <laughs> yeah, and then we have this guy over here. His name is Tux. Oh, and Samuel. So Samuel and Tux are over here. Samuel is the orange cat. Tux is the white paw with black body cat. Yeah, so that's Tux. He's he's friend with humans, not so much cats. This is Samuel. He's friends with everybody. He's like the real leader. We've had him since he was a baby. Most of these cats we rescued from the main society. Yeah, you such a sweetie. Oh, they're so lovey. Um, so that's Samuel. And then cats, two more to go. So sugars and BBM. Burnt black marshmallow. She's like the black cat. But she got highlights, guys. I <laughs> So most of the time in the day, they're usually doing something. BBM's always hiding. She's always in here, and now she's not. Is there a cat behind there? I found her. I'm in the screen room right now, but here she is. That's BBM. We're going to go out and get her. Hi, BBM. Okay, so she's usually jet black, but look, this sun, she has gotten highlights, guys. She's a fancy like hun. Yar. Look at those highlights. Slay, girl. Yeah. I gotta find sugars, guys. Most of the time she's wandering around. They literally only come out for a feed time. Most of the time they're sleeping or something. Um, as of now, I do not see sugars. If I do, by the time 
I end this video. I will post her, of course, and show you guys. But I'm just going to end it now because I do not see her. And, um, yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like and subscribe button, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm so close to 1,000 subscribers. And April 18th is going to be the, like, second year I'm going to be doing YouTube, guys. I started last year on April. And so, it's going to be a whole one year completed. I'm starting my second year of YouTube, guys. Um... Okay, guys, so anyways, that's it. Sorry this video took so long to get out there. I had deleted it after I filmed it, and then I had to refilm it again, and the other one was literally five minutes long. I didn't do... So I uh, deleted it, like I said, and then I filmed it. It was five minutes. It was not detailed at all, and I wanted it to be way more detailed, guys. And, yeah, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. Please go watch my other long videos because it helps me gain more hours and stuff guys but anyways i will see you guys in the next video comment down below as soon as we hit thousand subscribers i'm going live i'm giving i'm giving something away and i'm also um doing a riding dare video so please subscribe anyways guys thanks for watching bye